when we are ricing, no matter how we're doing it, in essence, we're receding in a way, you know, the canoes, the poles, you know, it's not, it's not possible to get every single seed of rice into our canoe. And that's, that's why it's so important too to get out here because we're essentially receding. You know, things fall in, the manumen falls back in. If people tip in, <laughs> extra manumen falls in too. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, part of that relationship we have with uh, the spirits and with uh, this manumen and, and those ones. It's uh, all these relationships we have, um, you know, embedded in them is that idea of reciprocity. And so, you know, as we're taking, we're also giving, not just giving as receding, but we take this manumen and we take it home and we process it and we give it to our community members. We feed our families, our relatives. You know, in our communities, we're not uh, just tied together by aunts, uncles, and you know, that, that concept of like a nuclear family. We're tied together by our clans and by our ceremonial families. There's a lot of different extended kinships within our community. And so, you know, like I said, that idea of reciprocity and giving back and taking care of each other, that's what it's all about, so. Mm -hmm. Some people just really beat it and you got the stocks, you got everything. Or if you just, you know, take what what's ripened. The histories they, they they migrated they had a vision they said they were they went where food grew on the waters mm -hmm. and they came westward they found this area and and stayed here and racing it ever since Oh, more than one person, it was, uh, or maybe four or five people that, that did it. Children, and parents, mm -hmm. things like that, and they kept doing it. If they were doing it for themselves to eat it. Mm -hmm. They would take it from the, the scorching again over to this bucket. And this bucket is where they would dance it. They would put a, so much amount in there. Depend on the size of your dancing area. See, and those small feet were great in here. So young people were the, were the best because they weren't heavy. And they also, would, when your weight is on that rice, it breaks it. So you got a, a light da person dancing it. They would just twist their feet. And if the rice was cooked really well, it would come right off.
Ja. You take it, put it into here, and it would be really frothy and pretty, pretty dried up and clean. And you start shaking it, and hopefully the wind is going away from you, because that is an itchy, itchy. <laughs> traded with these things you know for uh, our, our well-being and, and today we still kind of use that same way with it you know because the guy brings it here and he's trading some rice so that he don't have to pay hundred dollars two hundred dollars to have it processed so he's trading too when he brings it here so it's it's all it's similar like that yet and uh so it just doesn't stop <laughs> unless the rice stops see and that's the, the fearful part of it. And the point is to teach these kids how to do this so that next year when we when we do this again, you know, they come back, return and they, they can be the teachers. And so it's all about, you know, invigorating these these teachings, these practices in our youth so that they carry them on because they are our future. <laughs>